now we, we dive deep into business, because technology, just to have technology, isn't sufficient. And our next speaker promises a massively scaling for 5G use cases. So massively, that's still a promise. Exactly, so, how to scale. So, welcome with me, Enrique Moreno. I have to read your position because it's very long. It doesn't yeah. fit on a, on, a, on a card. So, head of telco media industry at NTD Data for the German, Austria, and Switzerland region. Exactly. So, I'm going to listen to your speech and all the others do too. Thank you. Warm Thank you welcome. very much. I have to recognize I was the very first time here in Dresden last year, thanks to the Dresden Connect conference. And I love the city. I love the Connect conference. I love the city. It's a city that I put already on the map and the city that, that you have to come with your family. So thank you for organizing that. Thank you and congr congratulations for your third anniversary. So I think it's great. Uh, I remember when uh, Helmut told me, you have, to be, you have to come, you have to be here, you have to know the people, you have to know the city. Thank you for that recommendation because I think it's uh, worth a lot. And uh, today we want to talk about how uh, entity data impression, about how to scale the 5G solutions, 5G uh, use cases, because I think we're already talking about, about the 5G. I think three years ago we were already talking about that. There are some use cases, but the challenge is how to scale them. So let's start, with, uh, let's start watching a video and see an example, and then let's talk about how to scale. Currently, thanks to the possibilities of 5G and other digital technologies, industrial sectors are driving the transformation to smart factories and Industry 4.0 in order to achieve their targets for optimizing and managing production and infralogistics resources. As a result, at NTT Data, we have been working jointly with Telefonica to develop an end-to-end -end 5G-enabled platform to optimize the internal logistics operations of companies in industrial sectors, such as the automotive industry and manufacturing. CIE Automotive is a global supplier of components for the automotive sector. It uses a broad range of technologies to supply the mobility solutions of the future, guaranteeing optimized and highly competitive processes. Optimizing CIE's automotive's end-of-line process. To address it, we have deployed a 5G private network that connects the AGVs with the NTT Data Intra Logistics platform, which was tested at one of CIE's automotive factories in Spain. Thanks to this, we have verified its ability to increase the efficiency, monitoring and automation of processes. The solution. What is NTT Data's Intra Logistics platform? NTT Data Solution leverages the multiple benefits enabled by 5G and makes it possible to integrate and orchestrate actions among a variety of devices, including AGVs, AMRs, and a number of sensors and systems. This increases the efficiency of logistics processes and improves the safety of employees and equipment. What does it contribute in terms of innovation? The platform's most remarkable innovations include the following. Advanced task scheduling, focused on increasing efficiency and the productivity of intralogistics operations, AGVs and resources. Its orchestration engine to simultaneously coordinate actions across the different devices as AGVs, sensors and equipment present at a factory. All this is monitored and controlled in real time from an intuitive and easy to use interface. Supported by 5G private network that assures high performance and safe communication between the platform in the cloud and the elements on the shop floor. Why is this unique platform so useful? Because it offers a substantial increase in terms of the intelligence and automation of the production and distribution processes. Because it allows for digital evolution in a scalable, sustainable and more controlled fashion. Because, thanks to the benefits of connectivity and 5G private networks, it can increase factory productivity by up to 10%. Why NTT Data? NTT Data's intralogistics platform isn't just designed for the automotive and manufacturing sectors, it's also applicable to logistics companies, distribution centers and ports. 
In addition to the solution, NTT Data provides complementary capabilities and know-how for consultancy, SAP, digitalization, data analytics, and systems integration services. Plus, it also offers its entire partner ecosystem, enabling collaborative work with telecommunication companies and other technology suppliers. To accelerate the business around 5G, advanced connectivity and digital transformation. NTT Data. Unlimited future. I have to recognize by thinking on how to give the speech, I was, okay, I'm going to show a lot of videos, but then I realized I have only 30 minutes. After that, I was informed it's not 30 minutes, it's only 20 minutes. With a, in a with small, small note, it's five minutes for Q&A. So that's the only video that we're going to show. We have 10, 10 slides to talk about some use cases and how to scale them. So I need to, talk, to start talking about Entity Data Inc. Probably many of you know about Entity Data, Entity Limited, Docomo, Entity West, so a lot of entity uh, companies that belongs to Entity Corporation, which is based in, in Tokyo. But uh, Entity Data Inc. is the name you're going to hear in the future because it's the integration of the Entity Data and Entity Limited. And why I'm talking here about that? Because uh, if you think about, if you uh, look at the Entity Data portfolio, you're going to see a lot of 5G capabilities. But on the other hand, if you look about an entity limited portfolio, you're going to see, you're going to see also a lot of uh, 5G capabilities in terms of the network. So together, we are, we are able to bring solutions by consulting services, application services, managed services, connectivity services from the edge to the cloud, and digital backbone. So, which means we are a partner that can bring really end-to-end -end solutions when we talk about 5G. Let's, think very, let's talk about very quick about some use cases in order to understand what we are talking here, what, we, what do we want later on to scale on. The first reference is one that we did together with Telefonica Spain in an intralogistic company, and this will, it was really uh, relevant in order to demonstrate that we together can put an orchestration solution into the company that can work perfectly with our ERP system, that was a subsystem, and in that case, they could do everything in a real time together with their robots working with the 5G technology from Telefonica. So we did this first pro uh, uh, proof of concept together with that company. They were very impressed about the results. Another solution that we have here deployed in Germany is automated valid parking. It's together with Valeo Parking and BMW. It's just very simple. Just think about you go to a parking lot, you bring your car, and you say, all right, with your app, I want the car to be parked. And then you can choose. I want the car to be charged. And then you can add, I want the car to be washed. In totally autonomous way, without human interaction, the car goes and do whatever you ordered or the, through your app. A couple of times later, you come back to the parking and say, I want my car back. Then you get information. You can find your car and parking lot here or just wait at your position. The car is coming to you. It's very interesting use case because it's very useful the moment you think about how the, human, uh, how the humanity wants to use this uh, 5G connectivity in the real world. Another one, it's not Entity Data, it's Entity Limited, which is going to be Entity Data Inc. Are the uh, ones that are known in Germany about the Frankfurt, uh, Frankfurt Flughafen and also the Köln, uh, Köln Bonn Flughafen. You know, we have deployed the 5G solution. It's not a final project in the meaning we didn't end the project. The project is finished. The project is live. The project is in production. But it's an ongoing project. The moment we are going to say all the time bring new use cases and keep talking with the customer, how can we improve the moment we have already the technology to bring additional value. Other examples, it's, and I go to the last one directly, it's grab and go. It's a very interesting one because it's not going to be a killer use case but it's a very relevant one. It's just you go to the store, you, get, you could pick up your product, and you leave the store. Everything is automated, everything is record, re recording. You don't have to pay by hand. It goes auto uh, automatically. And it's very interesting because we had to put on place its real-time uh, pictures monitoring anal analysis, real-time uh, real monitoring, and also digital twin. We put, we put digital twin because you can understand. You cannot put a store, a retail store, to having already having proof of concepts the moment the people are buying there. So we, got, uh, we went one day to the store. We took all the pictures, all the inputs, all the outputs, and then we are training the model with digital twin. 
It's going to be presented tomorrow, and I think in a couple of weeks we are going to see a press release on that. Just one comment to mention here, because uh, I have to empathize. It's true. Some of uh, my customers, the telco operators, told me, Enrique, maybe we can have a problem because you are a competitor. You are not anymore a partner, you are also a competitor. I will mention, no, we are never going to be a competitor. We prefer to work with you. We prefer to work under your command. So we are happy to be contracted by the telco operators. But in order to be able to go there and have credibility, we need to demonstrate that we are able to do that. If not, we are going to use just a presentation, a theoretical presentation, in order to say, we think we can do that, we think we have the model. No, we wanted to go and explain. We have the experience, we have the references, we can do it alone. So, we are the ones that can do that, but of course, we prefer to work with you. About the, uh, about the market, it's also important to understand where do we have to put the effort. Because, first of all, a lot of customers can come to us and say, we, want to, we need to put a 5G solution because we want to go to the market to explain we have 5G use cases. First of all, we have to analyze if we really need 5G. Sometimes with 4G is enough. On the other hand, you need to see the maturity of the content you have. For example, there are content you can already, already put on the production, other not. For example, holographic, it's not yet enough mature in order to have a real-time uh, production environment. And of course, where? In all the industries. I started by logistic manufacturing, but all the industries are going to be involved. But at the end, it's very important when we talk about 5G, we need to bring the value. And the value, if it's not there, it doesn't make sense. And it's going by simplifying network architecture. We need to have massive machine-to-machine -machine connection. We need to demonstrate that the low, that low latency brings a value. We need to be able to talk about network slicing. And of course, we need to think at the end at cost efficiency because it's, it's, an, it's one thing that matters, and it matters a lot. And then, how to scale? We have uh, on time it's 5G factory. Why do we need 5G factory? We need to understand that we're talking about new te technology, we are talking about new use cases that are different business models than the ones that we had till now. So, for that, it's important to understand new business model that we need to put in common with the right balance, the technology with the business. And I'm not talking about the business of a telco uh, company. I'm talking about the business, all the sectors, all the industries, in order to say, all right, now I'm a telco operator, but I need to understand about public. I need to understand about logistic. I need to understand about airports and so on. And of course, in order to put together the right people working in common. What for? Because if you are not, uh, you, you, you need to have a, a, a team that is able to do the design, the creation, and the development of the use cases. It's important also that they understand what they are working with, and it has to be sustainable. If we do a model that we have to go to a new customer, and we have to build it just from scratch every time, it's not sustainable at all, and that's one thing that we need to work. But having double click on that, we put on the very center the people, the talent, the capabilities. But all around, the capabilities to do the ideation, to creation, to design, and the, uh, the, uh, development and deployment. With, again, business, technology, and e agility. And everything surrounded with third parties. With, without the right partner ecosystem, you will never be able to do that. And of course, as entity uh, data together with entity, with consultancy, application, manage, connectivity, we have all the services. Here that was the right challenge because it was a 40, uh, 40 slides presentation that I put in one single presentation that I can split in four axes. First axis is to bring the right balance between technology and business. We need to start thinking about the architecture, about the network architecture, and then talk about the industries. The moment we are in the industry, we need to talk about the sectors. The moment we have the sectors, we need to think about the business model. It's not the same approach to a customer that belongs to a kind of company that a customer that belongs to another kind of company. The second uh, axis that I want to explain here is the relation, uh, re relationship model, which is very important in the meaning, how do we have to act together? We cannot be in discussion all the time. We cannot be in discussion, that's uh, your, uh, your part, that's my part. That has to be clear, that has to be predefined. By the way, we are very flexible. We can do that in a very, again, flexible way. 
because at the end it is a model, it has a lot of boxes, these boxes relate with, uh, between them, and you just need to know exactly how to communicate them, how has to uh, be the engagement in each phase. The third axe is talk, think big. We need to think big, but we need to start small. And it depends uh, on the maturity degree that we may have on different cases. We need to start from stage zero, and then the maturity goes on, go to further stage. And the last one, it's uh, the important one, because we may have very interesting use cases, but we need to put focus in those, those use cases that really brings additional revenue to the uh, operators and to their partners. If not, we are going to be able to explain how cool we are, how cool the new technology is, how differential things we are able to do, but at the end it's very important to boost exactly the one uh, use cases that are going to bring these extra revenues that we all are waiting for. And of course, if you have already pre-created applications, if you have pre-created references that you can reuse, this is a clear accelerator to boost the use cases in a massive way in the industry. And on the right part, you can see the alliances. It's not possible to do a 5G deployment together with a telco operator without your ecosystem. Without your partners, it's totally impossible. And this relationship is one it's an ecosystem that you have to build in upfront in order to be able to do that. We heard from Malik how important uh, sustainable, uh, how important it is to do the things in a sustainable way. And there are a lot of reasons. I can mention two. First of all, because it's our duty. We have to. The people expect that we act in that way. And the second way, it's because it's in our interest. We cannot keep uh, spending so much money about uh, this efficient energy, energy cost. I was uh, reading a LinkedIn uh, news, uh, newsletter that was two weeks ago. It was uh, a colleague from British Telecom talking about the cons energy consumption of British Telecom uh, in, in the UK. And they mentioned they are consuming 0.8% of the total UK energy consumption, almost 1%, which is incredible, which is not good, because the goal has to be, as we heard uh, a couple of minutes before, to try each year to reduce at least 10% our consumption, despite we have every time the additional devices. We can talk here about network technology, get on, get on deep dive, deployment strategy, but also infrastructure operations, where we can put solutions from smart operations, thinking on how to make the right forecasting, thinking AI solutions, thinking also uh, use uh, XR, uh, XR, XR models. And for the last sli slide, just to summarize and explain, there's the opportunity. Now we have the opportunity to boost the 5G use cases into market. The market are waiting, the market are ready, and we can do that. We all together can do that. Secondly, the key of the success is to be able to scale them. If we are keep going case by case, it's all interesting for research, but we, the, key, the key is going to be always to be able to scale them. With our 5G factory concept, we think that we bring to the, together the right balance of technology, of business, of talent, of people with the right experience. And in one hand, I can say entity data says that thanks to our, our experience, our references, our knowledge, we are the right partner to partner with. But on the other hand, our, the market, our customers, on the market analyst also says that entity data is one of the best partners to, play, to partner with. So, I think I'm on time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You, you perfectly hit the time. So, Thank you. So, but nevertheless, if there's one question, it would be, okay, I think we have these five minutes. Otherwise, you should use the coffee break. But if there's one burning question right now, just ask it. Or keep it for the coffee break. Thank you very much. Thank you.